Hi, it's Herb Lawrence from CHGO White Sox. What's going on, everybody? Sales guy Chris. And today on CHGO Tavern Style, which is presented to you by Salerno's Pizza, head on over to the Grand Avenue location and call 312-666-3444 to make a reservation today. We are talking about players that haven't had their numbers retired as yet that we feel should have their number up in the rafters. This is sales guy Chris. It's uh, first time with me, and it's good to have you here, sales guy Chris. Which person do you think should have their number retired in Chicago that hasn't got retired as yet? Ah, it's a pleasure to be here, Herb. Uh, you know, one player just instantly came to the top of my mind. There was a, quite a few choices, but one player just popped up immediately, and that was, like, he's still technically a player, but Derek Rose, you know, I feel like just the way he changed Chicago basketball. I was born in the early 90s, got to experience a lot of the Jordan era, you know, the tail end. I really remember a lot of that. But, you know, then we had the Ron Mercer days and Chicago basketball sort of lulled. And I just remember Derrick Rose taking me back to the top of that basketball sort of kingdom. He ran Chicago, I felt like. And, you know, just seeing Michael Carter Williams wear his number the year after D. Rose left, I was, I was personally insulted by that. I, uh, you know, I really grinded my gears. So I feel like when a player connects with you like that, where you actually legit get mad about another player instantly wearing his number the next year, you know, I think that means a lot. And, uh, you know, Derek Rose meant a lot to me in the city and would love to be seeing number one hanging in the rafters. I mean, he's a local kid, firstly. Secondly, he did win Rookie of the Year, I believe, and then yep. went, won the MVP in his third year. I remember when yep. he said, why can't I win him? Why can't I be the best player in the league? I laughed at him. I scoffed. I'm like, Hilarious, yeah. Derek Rose. Get your little ass out of here. You ain't going to be the guy. And he went out and did it. Like, if it, it only, you know, Tibbs takes him out a little earlier in that first-round playoff series – we're talking about a no doubt Hall of Famer and a no doubt uh, ring ceremony guy up in the rafters for um, Derrick Rose. Now we're talking also the Bulls don't have that many people retired as far as players. They got Bob Love, they got Jerry Sloan, Michael Jordan, and Scottie Pippen as players. That's it. So why would you say Derrick Rose deserves to be up in the pantheon of those four players in Bulls history? It's a great question. You know, I know MJ, Pippen, Love, Sloan, you know, they got the titles to back it up, you know, but I just think Derrick Rose, the way he changed the game, the way Chicago basketball was just in such a down, dark place for so long, you know, where Ben Wallace is the hype of our off seasons and everything like that. And the big guy coming in where, you know, Derrick Rose, he just, he, he made other players around him better, uh, you know, and he was a team guy. Yeah, he got a lot of points, but he also dished the ball out, got some rebounds. And he truly, I felt like brought the team together. Um, you know, pre-injury, so um, and you know, I, doesn't have the titles to back it up, but, you know, I think it's just what he did on and off the court and for the city that, that gets his uh, number in the rafters for me. And I've known people watching and saying Bears numbers. They're saying Urlacher and Briggs and all these other players, Hampton. They're not retiring any more numbers. They're done because of how many numbers they already have retired. So, yes, of course, uh, Brian Urlacher deserves to have his number retired. Same thing with Dan Hampton and uh, Richard Dent. Uh, but stop on and buy the Salerno's on Tap on 1201 West Grand Avenue in Chicago's West Town and enjoy our tavern-style pizza and ice-cold beers. Whether you're headed to the game or want to watch it live on our big screen TVs, watching it from home, we got you covered. Go to salernospizza.com or call 312-666-3444. Mention CHGO and get half off your pizza. Not half off of the actual pizza, half price of your pizza. So head on over to salernospizza.com, call 312-666-3444 for more information. Mention CHGO and get half off your pizza. As for mine, and I believe yours is really good, and I think it has a chance to happen. One thing that I always have been flummoxed by is why Ozzie Guillen's number hasn't been retired by the White Sox. Ooh. This man has both done all done three things for the White Sox, and probably there's been no person more vital to the White Sox success during his time that he was a manager player and now as a post-game analyst. Like he contributes to the White Sox in so many different ways than just being a player. But when he was a player in 1985, he won the rookie of the year. Then he's a three-time All-Star during his career as a Chicago White Sox. He's a Gold Glove winner. I think he won it in 1990. Sees top war in defensive war. There's no White Sox player that has a higher war. Not him. Nope, not Fox. Nope, not Chico Carascal. Ozzie Guillen is number one. And also, he is a top 10 in games played for the White Sox. Top 10 in hits. Top 10 in total bases. Now, if we're talking about where you probably know Ozzie Guillen as, 
as the manager of the 2005 World Series champion Chicago White Sox. That year, he won manager of the year. He is the first Latino manager ever to win a World Series. He broke the 88-year curse the White Sox had. That alone should have got him in there. But if we continue going on, he is third all-time and wins as a manager for the Chicago White Sox. And if you watch him right now, currently as an analyst on NBC Sports Chicago's post pre- and post-game shows with Chuck Garfine, I love Chuck. But the reason that people are tuning in for post-game after a White Sox terrible game is because Ozzy Guillen tells it like it is. There's no Milly Mouse stuff. There's no beating around the bush. It's right directly at you. That guy from the Venezuelan streets comes to your TV every afternoon. Yeah, as a White Sox, Chicago White Sox guy here on CHGO, I would rather you watch us here on CHGO for the post game. But Ozzie Guillen deserves his plaudits, and they should eventually retire the number 13. That hasn't been in circulation, I don't believe, after he's re- um, left his last game in 2011 as a manager. Is that 2003, right? Willie Harris. So that was the last time, Ooh. 2003, and Willie Harris was the guy. But then Ozzy came back as the manager in 2004. He has resumed, uh, resumed that number. And since he was the last manager or he was a manager here with the White Sox in 11, he, no one has worn that number. So I know they've kept it out of circulation for a reason. Might as well just do the final thing and give Ozzy his day to be on the stage. I don't know necessarily if he needs a statue, but he definitely needs his 13 to be retired and remembered as one of the greatest White Sox players and managers and analysts of all time. This has been Herb Lawrence and sales guy Chris for CHGO Tavern Style. Good night. We all city like the mayor. 